Welcome back. Talk about thinking on your feet. Our next guests do that every time they take the stage and have to take ideas thrown out to them by the audience and turn them into something funny on the spot. That's what the improv comedy troupe Second City does the best. They are in town for three summer blockbuster shows at Pittsburgh Public Theater this weekend. Two members of the troupe are with us now. Welcome Allison Gates and Greg Ott. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. And so uh, I have to ask, what is the most absurd thing that somebody has thrown out to you to do uh, improv on? You get ideas from the audience, right? So, anything like truly out of this world, like unique? Um, yeah, we actually yeah. did uh, some improv based on the president recently. Mm. It was wild. Somebody yelled out something about the president. We had to, you know, make fun of him. <laughs> which... <laughs> that is not happening at all these days. Oh, no, no, it was uh, it's disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I can't tell. You're very straight face. I can't tell if you're being funny or oh. if you're being very serious. Oh no, I've had this face my whole life. Oh. <laughs> We have definitely gotten some crazy things from audience <laughs> members, and it's it's fun when you can feel the whole audience like, oh no, we have to deal with this, and then getting to uh, deal with that in front of everybody is yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. So I was in Chicago once. I saw Second City, but it was like the the backup to Second City. I forget what it's called. Uh, the touring company. That would be us. No, no. Like the like the B Squad. Yeah. The B Squad. It's like oh, right. we came in to see uh, Michael Jordan. It's like well, he he's injured, so we've got mm -hmm. we put somebody else in. They were still funny. I, are they like just in training to be on tour one day? Yeah, they have a they, Second City has like a whole training center where you learn how to do uh, things like this. So you start off in a smaller theater, then a bigger theater, and then they throw you on a cruise ship, and then you come to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so teach me how to be funny then. Okay. Um, can we use your um, your set over there with all the <laughs> <laughs> candy and uh, vegetables? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's fresh. Maybe we shouldn't touch it's that. It's not fresh. Yeah, no. Well, that sounds funny to me. That sounds funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, what else uh, are you doing in Pittsburgh? How many shows are you do you have going on? We've got three shows. We have one tonight and two tomorrow. Uh, and Greg and I were here last year and had. Just a great time. Did you? Uh, the audience was a ton of fun, and we're very excited to be back. Do you get to enjoy the city while you're here as mm -hmm. well? Yeah. yeah, last night we went to a drag show. We did, and some bars and a restaurant. Um, yeah, we're here till Sunday, so we have like the free days to explore. So you really nice. make the most of your trip, then it sounds like. Absolutely. Yeah. I saw a Rite Aid, so I might buy some contact solution. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much all we have going on here. Oh, great. Yeah, just the Rite Aids. Oh. <laughs> Wow. You're a great salesman for Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, how many people are involved in the stand-up comedy and the, in the improv when you're here? There's six of us, and then we have a musical director uh, and a stage manager. What's mm -hmm. the toughest, spot, uh, toughest part about being on the spot and having those ideas thrown out at you? Uh, there's a lot of pressure to be funny and interesting, and many of us are not as funny and interesting as we may seem on television. Mm. So when you see us in a live <laughs> setting, it's, it's a lot... It's a lot more dramatic and difficult. Do you have any kind of props to use on stage? Yeah, I, I have a guitar, and that's for uh, a scene that with music. Mm -hmm. um, and we have that you know, was supposed to be funny. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have we we travel with a suitcase uh, full of. Uh, we do a lot of bits where we have. We'll just randomly throw on jackets and hats and things like that and make up characters on the spot. How does the mm -hmm. tour go? Is this one stop and how many? How many cities this are you going tour to? It's just two. Uh, we were at Kenyon College in Gambier, Ohio on Wednesday, and then we have the shows here and we go back. So sometimes it's shorter ones just in and out back to Chicago. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, enjoy your stay in Pittsburgh again. You said you've been here forever. Not you personally, but Second, Second City. Second City. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> I think the for... shows go over really well. We've got, like, planned sketches, political stuff, and improv with the audience, and it's a ton of fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for being here and spending time with us. Again, Pittsburgh Public Theater is proud to present the Second City Summer Blockbuster. It's for three performances only, so don't miss it. Showtimes are tonight at 8 and Saturday at 5.30 and 9. You can get your tickets online or by calling the O'Reilly Theater box office.